So then you take into account, well, how did God speak to Eve? Same way he spoke to Adam. My wife has sat there many times. Your dad told me this. Right. He said I was this. Well, he is just telling you in your thoughts what I've already told you because I am the father of mine. So it should be some type of confirmation when things like that happen. But when she did not feel my voice was important, you're taking into account this is a creation. This is your creation from your spirit. It has a lot of your attributes. It has a lot of your personality. It's just in a female. And it hasn't already learned every single thing because it doesn't exist outside of time. It's a piece of you. It's going to have its own thoughts and desires. And then the inclusion of, okay, these spirits that I already saw what they were going to do, gave them a chance once, they did exactly what I knew they were going to do. <sighs> Will not return them to a human vessel or swirling around. <clears throat> and she's listening to them. How do I communicate with her unless I'm there in the flesh to speak to her? No, babe, this is what God said. <clears throat> understanding the heavenly things, even from a perspective before you even show up and stare at everybody. Yeah. They will put you out of the synagogues for my name's sake. Those trying to kill you will think they're doing a service to God. Yeah. Listen to what they say, but don't do what they do. Herod's out of me. <clears throat> well, you tell that fox I'll be here three days casting out demons and then I'll leave. Because it's kind of my specialty and many would ask me, Lord, why won't you help demons? You don't put a fox in a hen house. So you are um, going to be more inclined to understanding yourself because everything to you, not to offend anybody, but I always said you ain't preaching if you ain't offending. It's stupid and you're either with me or against me. Let's just draw a line here because it becomes that way based on um, the individual's knowledge. And my Heavenly Father was having me watch this movie yesterday. Basically, uh, the outcasts went to this special school. I guess that's who we are. <laughs> I was known to be with outcasts. Uh, my people understand me. I understand my people. <laughs> Go to the TV, Lord. All right. <sighs> and then I put evidence in front of people. It, it, from a Harvard University, Harvard School of Divinity, I believe it's called. I'm going to know more about what I study, i.e. led to. And not all of the Beatitudes you would perceive as positive. So I speak on the level um, 
with the person I'm talking to based on what I understand they already understand. It's going to be different with each person. My wife having all of these experiences are part of her testimony of what makes her so special. When you understand just because you wake up and you feel a certain way, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to continue feeling that way when you are constantly in prayer. Pray without ceasing is what the scripture says. It says a lot in there. There's a lot that I said in the gospel that isn't particularly Master, I knew you were a harsh man reaping where you did not sow type of uh, description of me. <clears throat> Your understanding comes in pieces whereas my thoughts are not all over the place. I have to narrow them down to what is pertinent and important for you to hear at this moment before telling the spirit of truth to tell you. So you're still using the spirit of truth as the dividing line because you truly do have a uh, inevitable conclusion of what's gonna happen when the modern church is given over to the devil and completely collapses into darkness and deceit. If you're constantly um, one of those that don't understand, there are people that use the modern church as their social club, their dating scene. Um, how many people use me or something they accredited to themselves technically through their testimony rather than their full testimony because they're using the testimony that makes them look good when I actually know behind the scenes your righteous deeds are like dirty rags to me do not rely on your righteous deeds of yesterday to save you from tomorrow all of these scriptures and people say yeah but so does the devil no <laughs> The devil knew the scripture one time, right? In the Old Testament, the devil's not quoting the scripture. The king of Tyre, isn't uh, <clears throat> admonished as a heavenly being that fell. He is descriptively degraded and admonished, but not as any type of scripture that goes against no one has ever entered heaven except the Son of Man. No one has seen God except the Son, who is God himself, who himself is God, if you combine the entire gospel. There's a reason there's somebody standing there in the flesh. No man spoke like this before. <clears throat> Type of existing evidence coupled with historical fact. There's a reason that exists, though. You already understand this person's going to use me. I'm going to do it for them anyway. And then it's going to do exactly what I said in the scripture. Yield its crop. And... How I get used a lot of times is for acceptance. People did not care about praise from God, but praise from men. This hasn't changed. It probably will never 
change. So when I'm looking at my people, and each one of us are in our mansions, we're all connected, our homes all glorify God. And then you see the YouTube videos of them and they're by themselves. It's because we have a mentality of, I only want what God wants me to have. And then you're saying, Lord, you wanted me to have my spouse. I'll caution you and empathize with you at the same time. If it was sympathy I was giving you, then that would denote that I feel sorry for you. I do not. I know exactly what I am doing for you and in you in this situation. When I understand the outcome and what you're going to be doing and how prepared I want you to be. I used to prepare for something for three years. And then when I actually did it, it only lasted 30 seconds, but it was perfectly done. When I wooed my wife, I prepared for that for year after year after year after year after year after year, after year until it reached, okay, we're in Portland, showtime. Um, from the moment I met her, I've been trying to sweep her off her little feet, her pretty little feet, her pretty little feet. Beautiful are the mountains, are the feet of the mountains, the messengers of God. And then going right into it, ah, oh, yeah, well, this. No, no, that makes sense. So that's why I learned how to fight with the mirror spirit. That's why I've been fighting demons this long. Okay, now. So I was able to transition into a situation that would not have been repairable or in any way able to be love filled with God moving in our life without having been prepared and want God with me. And I am known to face giants and I have many, many times before I met my wife. So when you're looking at your entire life and the experiences you've had that glorify your heavenly father, who is me? And I'm telling you, based on my testimony and my experiences, I went through that pain and suffering to save you from it. Easier to listen to wisdom than learn by pain and suffering. But <clears throat> I'll use anything, and I use anything and everything for your good. Those that are called and according to my purposes. So when your will is my will, life is just easier. Teaching my kingdom spouses all of this, same way I learned. My Heavenly Father led me out of the church. Okay. Little by little, the gospel, living it out, comes into conflict with modern church teachings. It's inevitable. So raising people to life and teaching them myself, but first, I knew them. So it was familiar to them. because I was also already in them. I remind myself, my wife is part of the elect, that if it were possible, even the elect would be deceived. And I do it day by day, because I'm still one flesh with her. So while we aren't able to accomplish much as a team, and we aren't, because it's usually uh, 
unsustainable uh, spiritual environment at first, and we haven't been able to do what my Heavenly Father said, don't separate, don't turn against each other. Due to, uh, she'll let the devil flow through her, not understanding she doesn't have enough of the Holy Spirit unless she's actively in her marriage. So once you leave me in the spirit, <clears throat> And I did it through this vessel. I text her and email her. This has been going on for three years. You're going to be leaving heaven by your own free will. And then a prodigal's life isn't uh, life to the full. It's not abundant. And it's... Uh, artificial so you're not going to be satisfied because your peace will be artificial you will know that you're trying to make this fit you're trying to make this word be for you you're trying to say that's from me but you have no peace with it doesn't feel the same as it did in the beginning with you, Lord. I want to return to my first love, as you should. The entire purpose of love in itself <clears throat> my love she didn't understand what I understood. Okay. That chair you were sitting in, that couch, demon infested. Let me get you a brand new one. <clears throat> That's why I did it. So it's um, also it was at that time in God's presence a lot because the word of God was surrounding it all over the place. Based on it was brand new and I had already told her, don't do the hand me down thing. You're inheriting other people's, you guys call it energy. Lord, you're doing the hand me down thing. I'm proving all of this was done without money. <clears throat> And that God's hand was in it. Plus, it's going to turn demonic over and over and over and over again. There's no point in buying brand new things just to open up a church and then become demonic based on uh, the type of spirits that are swirling around because of who my wife or others are in constant contact with. I realized really quickly. Their phones come out and they start texting people. And I'm like, you're not even giving yourself a chance to breathe. Because that text is going to bring in during Armageddon, of course, that pathway for different emotions and um, demonic thoughts. When you're hanging out in social media and interacting back and forth, I go so far as disabling the um, comments. I put my YouTube on restricted mode. So the little tiny things that you don't think make a difference little by little by little by little change you and you're going to be changed either in a healthy spiritually first. If you're healthy spiritually, the rest isn't going to be able to bring you to a place where you feel like uh, well, God has left you. The scripture talks about Saul with that. He had to go through that. But your um, desire is to be with God more and more and more and more. I love you. Believe me. <laughs>